Welcome to Backstory, where we get to know what shapes, motivates and drives our politicians. This week, the poly politician, who's from a long line of Taranaki farmers and got special treatment from her school principal. Labour's Carmel Sepuloni is now in Auckland Westie with a serious case of FOMO. We tra travelled to Titirangi to hear her backstory. So born and raised in Waitara, down in Taranaki, uh, at the Waitara maternity home, which uh, no, no longer exists. I've got two sisters, an older sister and a younger sister, so I'm the middle child. Parents from completely different backgrounds who, um, yeah, raised us down there. He came over to New Zealand in 1964, I think, and had an uncle who was down in Taranaki, so he moved down there and started off working on the railways. My mother, um, one of seven, a, a farming family, uh, going back many years, and and yeah, they, they met and they, they had the three of us. Growing up with a father who was Pacific Islander was quite unusual down in Waitara. There were very few Pacific Island people down there. Over the years, I've, I feel like the, the um, perception has been more strongly Pacific, which I'm very proud of, but there is another side to me as well. And I'm also proud of that side. I love to have fun, even as an adult, I suffer FOMO big time, always scared I'm going to miss out on something if I'm not there, uh, wanting to be part of things. And so as a child, uh, yeah, really, I think outgoing and I was very good at primary school and intermediate and uh, at secondary school probably got into a bit more trouble than most and formed a very good relationship with my principal. So her name was Jane Gordon. She passed away a few years ago, unfortunately. But particularly in my seventh form year, just basically stopped going. My parents had split up. Uh, my father had moved to Australia to find work because there wasn't much work going after the freezing work shut down. And I just fell away. She knew things were not going well at home and she said to me that she'd spoken to her husband and they wanted me to move in with them so that she could uh, be assured that I would at least show up to school. I was already getting into trouble and going out and doing things and drinking and whatnot with, with uh, mates, including mates that had already left school. So I moved in with her. Uh, and I managed to get the three C passes that I needed to get into university, which was quite amazing given how much school I'd, I'd missed. So I went to Auckland College of Education to start my Bachelor of Education and Diploma of Primary School Teaching. I got pregnant in my second year. <laughs> that probably contributed to, to a little bit, a longer trajectory finishing the degree. It's amazing how many people thought that was it. You know, that, you know, you get pregnant at that age and life must be over. And it never even crossed my mind that I wouldn't keep going. Of course I was going to keep going. And dragged him around with me uh, for, for the many classes with lots of friends who'd look after him whilst I was attending my classes. At that time in my head I had this thing, I wanted to work with uh, secondary school aged kids, but not kids that were in school and then I ended up being literacy and numeracy educator for I guess what is called at risk youth even though I don't like that term uh, but 15, 16, 17, 18 year olds who had left school early or been kicked out of school. Growing up I'd never been to Samoa so my father would go back uh, occasionally uh, for different reasons uh, but we as a family never went but I didn't want to go for a holiday. I wanted to go uh, to live and so I decided to go and teach there for just under a year I was there uh, and it was amazing. It's a constant journey this identity thing. Uh, I've never felt like I've got any kind of identity crisis but I'm on this wonderful learning journey getting to know uh, my own heritage and, and by virtue of doing that myself. My husband has two children, so we've got a bit of a blended family situation. And then also, my dad lives with us. So we've got the multi-generational thing going on, which is good. I'm a grandmother now, uh, so it's, everyone says that it just gives you a whole new lease on life, and I tell you what, it does. <laughs> uh, it's amazing. Now we've got this new baby in our lives, it's just so nice. <laughs> um, social services. Um, hang on a second, my son's just in the room. You know, that morning, here I am doing a live interview with Radio Samoa of, of, of all, uh, you know, media, 
<laughs> and my husband was in the kitchen making his usual morning breakfast juice. And Isaiah saw the carrot, picked it up and thought he'd come and show mummy. We've known each other for about 15 years. He's a writer, he's also a Pacific advisor for Auckland Libraries. Welcome to his writing cabin. <laughs> yeah, this is my little uh, sanctuary, my little space uh, for doing artwork and yeah, a bit uh, away from the noise in the family of the and for the kids. But uh, yeah, and we also hang out here, uh, have our quiet time here. 14 years we've known each other and uh, yeah, we've been, been together for six years and married for four years this year. It's good you remembered all that. Yeah. <laughs> I'm here to just really talk to her work and support her in whatever she does as well. This is called the uh, Poly Poet and the Politician. Some may say chalk and cheese, we say thick as thieves. It was our eyes that met many years ago, cemented our va. We crossed archipelagos to exchange vows under the tropical rain of the coral coast. Everyone raised the glass, their glass, to propose a toast to the Poly Poet the politician. In this role you've got the opportunity to make amazing changes and we have, I feel like we have to date. Uh, there's always other things to do and there's always people that are going to tell you you haven't done enough or you need to do more. Uh, they're not always wrong. Uh, actually there's always more to do. I, I do have the energy for it, I'm still loving it and there's still so much more that I, that I want to do in this role.